Ha <laughs> ha. Hey guys, Thunder E here. You guys asked for this. This is gaming on the Galaxy Z Flip 4. Now the Z Flip 4 is the latest flip phone from Samsung. And while it may look similar, it does have a thinner slit here, although I can still see my display over there. But the hinge change here really does a whole lot to make it feel much more sturdier and also just more a solid device that you can flip open and flip close. Now, it does come with a cover display and I have seen uh, my buddy Miles Buff Tech actually play something here. He's on TikTok, you go check him out. I'm not gonna do that. I'm actually gonna be showing gaming on the main display. And now speaking of that main display, we open it up. It is a 6.7 inch display. It's 120 Hertz display, which is pretty nice. And again, we love that faster refresh rate because while we're gaming, we're going to need that, especially for our shooters. This side-by-side -side to say the Galaxy S22 Ultra, it looks similar like a traditional smartphone, not in terms of size, but just in terms of overall look. And I like that. It's a bit thinner on the thinner side, but then again, is you still have that traditional smartphone when it comes to gaming, that is really, really important. So in terms of specs, we have the Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1, which we've seen some really good numbers for, so we're excited to see what it does here. We get eight gigabytes of RAM, 120 gigabytes of storage to start. Now, I wish Samsung went higher with 12, uh, but then again, this should still be fine for what we want to do. So what do we do? We start off with Call of Duty Mobile. Now, Call of Duty Mobile, we can go all the way to Ultra with 8 Plus Gen 1, and we played at Ultra. We got 83 frames per second, and it was great to see. Very smooth, very fast, really responsive uh, refresh rates there. And I really enjoyed that. Now, some of you ask, yes, you can do 60 frames per second if you choose to, but if you can do, go more, why not go more, right? Then we went over to PUBG. Now, PUBG Mobile, we're able to play on both settings, Ultra HD Ultra, which gave us 40 frames per second, which is standard, but I think we could probably eke out more, especially at some of these settings. Uh, developers, do your work. But when you play at smooth extreme, you get solid 60 frames per second. So that was nice to see with this that again, that is standard. Now, Apex Legends, the game I've been playing more lately uh, because it just really, really is a fun game. And also not a, a lot of noobs are still there because I'm not that great at most shooters. But that being said, Apex at its standard settings, I got 40 frames per second. Now, some of you are wondering like, I saw some comments on the phone saying that's terrible for 8 plus Gen 1. That's a developer thing. And I think that we just need to see developers may take advantage of that. Now, one developer that doesn't take advantage of anything is Genshin Impact. We know that game is poorly optimized, but we always like to see how most devices work and handle at max settings for 60 frames per second. Now, when you play this game uh, at max settings 60 frames per second, for the first seven minutes of gameplay, you will get 60 frames per second. After that, we're getting roughly 43 frames per second. That's lower than the Galaxy Z Fold, which was about 46 to 48. But again, within that uh, you know, threshold, if you will. And again, better than uh, what we're getting with the regular Snapdragon 8 Gen 1. So a huge improvement, but with a device like this, the next thing you're thinking is what about temperatures? Because Genshin is a game that takes advantage of heat and you don't have any special cooling. This is where I'm gonna duck points for Samsung because Samsung has not really done a good job the last couple of years in providing better cooling for this device compared to the OnePlus 10T, which I was truly impressed to see how cool that device ran. This device here, the Z Flip 4, on the screen itself, ran 105 degrees and it's towards the camera, camera in the, on the top. So now on the rear of the device, I got temperatures between 107 to 112. So really hot temperatures, which means I'm not gonna be able to do long hours of gaming. Now you're wondering how does this affect battery life with 3,700 milliamp battery? I would say actually it's been pretty good for most games other than Genshin Impact playing at those settings. So I was able to actually start from 100 and playing Call of Duty, PUBG, as well as also uh, Apex Legends, I lost about 20% battery life playing for almost two hours. So that to me was actually fine. Genshin throws that all out the window. Then of course, there's game streaming services. Now, those should always work well, but I always do test that. And of course, Xbox Game Pass plays really well. Now you're probably wondering what kind of controllers can you use? And 
The best controller for me here is the new Razer Kishi V2. This is the Android version. Uh, that's all I can find right now that's available, but it fits really well for the Z Flip 4, allowing you to tuck it in and game as much as you like. So that was really, really nice to see and also see that, look, there's something I can actually use with this device for some of my gaming needs. Now, Audio is a big thing. We've got, uh, of course, we've got stereo speakers, but how well did the game sound? Well, take a listen. Sounds pretty good, right? Solid audio performance, very close to your uh, S22 Ultra, in my opinion there, but this is of course a Z Flip 4. So what else can you do gaming wise? Well, you can do it in flex mode, basically having it in the split screen mode. You can put your phone down. You can have your game on the top and you can have something else at the bottom. So I have Xbox Game Pass there on the very top. And in some cases, I will also have Twitter at the bottom so I can scroll through Twitter while I'm gaming. It's a much smaller screen. It feels more like a Game Boy in here, but also really tighter there. Not really recommended in that regard. Now, all essence though, I think this device is really solid for gaming, uh, whether you just have it as a fashion um, accessory in terms of mobile phones, or you wanna do more, it's got all the performance that you're looking for and all that you need as a gamer. The one thing I'll say is temperatures can be very daunting and battery life for gaming is actually good as long as you're not playing Genshin Impact. That's pretty much it, guys. So if you have any questions, any comments, let me know. If you want to pick up this device, the Z Flip 4, or the uh, Razer Kishi V2, I will leave the links down for you guys below. But if you have any other questions, let me know. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and always enjoy your entertainment.